guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video right now, coming off of the news that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed wide receiver Russell Gage, they have lost a player. Former Tampa Bay Buccaneers safety Jordan Whitehead is signing a two-year deal with the New York Jets. Congratulations to the Jets. They got themselves a very good starting safety who can do so many good things in run defense, in pass coverage. Jordan Whitehead is an all-around very, very good starting safety. I think he's going to be a very good replacement for Marcus May, who is now out there on the open market. We'll talk about him possibly in a moment here towards the end of this video. But, <clears throat> you know, the Jets got themselves a good starting caliber safety. For the Bucks. this is a move that I don't think is too shocking. Maybe it's a little surprising, but I don't think shocking is the right word to use, right? Because there was something about Jordan Whitehead going into the open market, much like in the case of Alex Kappa, where, you know, some people just had a feeling, right? That the Buccaneers, they can't keep everybody. Jordan Whitehead is one of those guys who deserves a pretty decent payday. We don't have the exact numbers of that contract that Whitehead got from the Jets out there yet, but, <clears throat> you know, much like in the case of Alex Kappa, Jordan Whitehead was in a similar situation on defense where, yeah, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would love to keep a player like Whitehead around, but you can't pay everybody. And unfortunately, the Buccaneers do lose Jordan Whitehead in this scenario. Thank you to Jordan Whitehead for every single thing that he did for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He got a Super Bowl ring, was a very, very good starter for the Bucs for many, many years now, and uh, he's going to go possibly get paid here from the Jets. What do the Bucks do now? Well, they have Antoine Winfield Jr. They have Mike Edwards. Can either one of those guys play strong safety? We don't know. That is definitely something the Buccaneers may explore, may experiment with and whatnot. But you've also got to consider there is a good amount of veteran free agent safeties out there. Two names that immediately jump into my head. One guy I mentioned at the start of this video, Marcus May, has a great history with Todd Bowles. Todd Bowles was his head coach, was the guy who drafted him back when Bowles was the head coach of the New York Jets. I think he is a very uh, potential, you know, strong potential option for the Bucks. Another guy that would cost a pretty penny, but I tell you what, he will be considered Tyron Matthew. I mean, Tyron Matthew's got connections to the entirety of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coaching staff. Essentially, he is another guy that I think the Buccaneers will have some level of interest in. Both those guys will cost a decent amount, though. I would say Tyron Matthew would probably cost more than Marcus May, but we'll have to wait and see. I think the Buccaneers could probably make something like an $8 million per year uh, type of deal work for any potential big name free agent safety they want to bring in but we'll have to wait and see who knows maybe by the end of today we'll be talking about the Bucks signing a Marcus May or a Tyron Matthew I certainly think the Buccaneers will be interested now that they lost a very solid starter in Jordan Whitehead so another casualty of the Buccaneers offseason is here first it was Alex Kappa now Jordan Whitehead give me your thoughts on Jordan Whitehead leaving the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the New York Jets down in the comments section below I'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.